Good morning. My name is Preston Sprinkle, and I'm an associate professor of urology at the Yale University School of Medicine. Today, I'm going to talk to you about uh, exact view micro ultrasound, the optimum trial, and uh, our Yale experience with micro ultrasound. So, what is micro ultrasound? Uh, it's an ultrasound based system that operates at 29 megahertz, which is much higher than conventional 6 to 9 megahertz systems. This allows for a 300% improvement in resolution, so making a lot more of the prostate visible um, to ultrasound uh, and allowing for much smaller areas to be visualized, including suspicious areas in real time. The procedure is also consistent with traditional truss setup and technique, allowing for transrectal MRI fusion as well as transperineal prostate biopsies. It is clinically available in the US, Canada, and Europe since 2017. Microultrasound is really at the end of kind of an evolution of prostate cancer, initially from finger guided biopsy to visualization of the prostate and then randomly sampling the prostate. We've become much more adept at targeted prostate biopsies after the significant increase in use of MRI to visualize areas within the prostate. Now with micro ultrasound, we can again visualize those areas within the prostate, but can do it in the outpatient clinic which has the potential to decrease the complexity of prostate biopsies significantly by removing the need for multiple procedures to be able to first visualize the area and then fuse it to be able to do the targeted biopsy. So what do these look like side by side? Conventional ultrasound, you can see a prostate. With exact, you can see significantly more detail and actually can identify areas that can be graded for based on their risk and biopsied. In this specific case, the abnormality was only visualized on the micro ultrasound and not on MRI or traditional ultrasound, end up being a grade group three prostate cancer. How did these grade? Well, there is actually a standardized five point risk scale called the Primus scale. This has been validated, and recent data suggests that it's relatively easy to learn. Uh, in just 20 to 60 cases. You can see there's a grading from really benign glands all the way to the right, which are very concerning lesions. The evidence to date, so there's both prospective data as well as some meta-analyses, all of them suggest that micro-ultrasound provides comparable detection rates to multiparametric MRI in terms of the ability to perform targeted biopsies and detect clinically significant prostate cancer. This was reflected in the most recent uh, NCCN prostate cancer early detection guidelines, which found that micro ultrasound performs similarly to multiparametric MRI in terms of the detection of prostate cancer. Briefly, our Yale University experience, we're early in our experience. We have uh, Dr. Joe Renzulli really pioneered this at our institution and based on his initial sort of 62 patients, we compared that to 100 patients from a historical cohort of MR ultrasound fusion prostate biopsy using the Artemis system, targeted all lesions that are PIRADS 2 or higher, um, as well as the 12 core systematic biopsy and looked at overall cancer detection, clinically significant cancer detection and miss rates. The cohorts were surprisingly well matched, even though they were not randomized. In terms of our cancer detection rates, we see that the clinically significant cancer is a second row, grade group two or higher. The overall cancer detection rate was very similar, not statistically different in terms of the p-value, though maybe slightly higher with micro ultrasound. If we look at the types of cancers that were missed, targeted biopsy alone for clinically significant cancer, comparing overall cancer detection to targeted biopsy. Um, targeted biopsy did miss a few more with micro ultrasound versus MRI ultrasound biopsies, but this was not statistically significant. And finally, looking at a logistic regression model for the prediction of clinically significant prostate cancer, the bottom one is sort of the main thing. There was not a statistically significant difference. Micro ultrasound detection of clinical cancer was definitely not inferior to uh, MRI, ultrasound fusion prostate biopsy that we had a lot of experience with. So similarly, what other cohorts and other groups have found, and they cite these sort of three studies with over 673 men, by combining micro ultrasound with MRI fusion, the increase in clinical significant cancer detection rate was up almost 5% in those studies. Ours was similar at 8%, and hence they designed the optimum study, which is really three arms of micro ultrasound alone, MRI fusion alone, and micro ultrasound plus MRI fusion. Primary objective is to compare micro ultrasound only to MRI 
fusion, and that is for targeted biopsies plus 12 core systematic biopsies and looking at the detection of clinically significant prostate cancer, so grade group two or higher. The secondary objective is then actually looking at micro ultrasound with MRI. Physicians are blinded to the MRI results, um, perform the exact view targeted biopsy, MRI is unblinded, and then can target those MRI samples. And that will be compared to the standard MRI ultrasound fusion prostate biopsy arm. There are several other unpowered secondary objectives uh, that will be fantastic to have data on as well. There's a lot of math in the background to appropriately power this study. Looking at about a 10% difference seemed to be appropriate to assess non-inferiority. So overall, 1,200 patients will need to be randomized, 600 to MRI ultrasound fusion biopsy, 400 to exact view biopsy with an MRI that can then be unblinded, and 200 to micro ultrasound biopsy alone. Again, with the ultimate goal of detecting the rate of clinically significant prostate cancer. So in summary, micro ultrasound provides improved visualization of the prostate and prostate lesions. Um, institutional series support micro ultrasound targeted biopsy is not inferior option to MRI ultrasound fusion prostate biopsy. We've now performed over 400 uh, micro ultrasound biopsies at our institution and are preparing that data as well. Optum trial is really designed to confirm equivalence in a randomized prospective study and to evaluate the benefit of adding MRI fusion to micro ultrasound prostate biopsy. Thank you very much for this opportunity.